Hey my people, so we're going to be taking the MAC Rubenesque paint pot or any sheer, as long as it's like your skin tone color, it's fine. I picked this one because it has a goldy pink undertone to it, it's, so I thought it would pick up these colors really well. I'm going to slap that all over the eyeball. Okay, then I'm going to take the 120 palette and I'm using a lot, well not a lot, but I'm basically setting it with this color right here on this row, the second row down, the, row that ha or the palette that has the ribbon attached, it's that one right there. I wish they would at least take the time to put a number on them. That would be beautiful. But we can't have everything we want, can we? Okay. And y'all, that last video that I made, that I finally put up, I was debating whether I should put it up or if I should just come on and do a voiceover and explain what happened and, and explain the product. So I'm thankful for all of y'all who left sweet comments. I tried my darndest, but you know what? When things like your computer go crazy, I mean, what can you do? And I had chemical in my hair. It wasn't like I could stop it and start over again. And y'all see, I'm just taking a rounded brush and going all over my eye. I was so frustrated, I was so upset. And then it took it took like a week to get my computer back and I was praying the whole time, Jesus, please let that tutorial not be gone. I don't know what happened. I still can't figure it out, but I'm just thankful it is fixed because I missed y'all. I did. Okay. Now, what you going to do, if I'm going to be using Sugar Pills uh, Burning Heart Buttercup, the yellow, but if you don't have that, you can simply take on the yellow roll, row with the gold on it, go from the bottom up to the fourth one, right hither, take that one and use it. And to get it, to get it more pigmented, I'm trying not to blind y'all, to have it be more pigmented where you don't lose the color, just pack it on don't um you know blend out because when you blend out with these 120s they they're gonna blend they blend really well and if you want the color to be stronger don't blend and i'm just going to take a pencil brush a clean pencil brush and this is sugar pill um burning heart and i'm using buttercup the yellow right hither And I'm going to go in that inner tear duct right there and pop that in. Okay. And then you can go underneath. I went underneath with it. I love these colors. They're so strong. Okay. And then we're going to go up like we're cutting a crease. It almost, it almost blends in, but not all the way. Okay, I'm going to take a rounded brush. This is just an old Estee Lauder brush. I hope I'm not blinding y'all with my light. I'm going to take that brush and I'm going to take the side that has the yellows on it. And I'm going to be using that yellow that I showed you and like the next two down. Just take those and blend them on the ball of the eye. You want it to be lighter on the ball of the eye, just to give some dimension, make it stand out a little bit more. Okay, then I'm going to take the highlighter sh color I showed, the one that we first put on all over. I'm going to take that color again, and I'm going to pack it on just on that very ball of the eye right there. And I'm going to go back up here with it. 
I think I even did this number. You can take a brush like this, take a little bit of that color I just showed you. If you're a fair person, you can do this. Now, if you're darker toned than tanning, please don't do this. You'll look a little funny. But you know, you can take a bronzer in your color and do this right here. I just like shading my temples, highlighting them. Highlighting. Okay. This hot, hot pink right here that's hit pan and about gone. I'm going to use that and a couple of these other pinks. This pink right here. Okay. Just draw your angle and start patting it in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Sephora's uh, gel liner. If you don't have a gel liner, just use your favorite blue eyeshadow to make like this color. It's like a really pretty robin egg blue kind of color. Um, you could actually take this, one, two, three, four, four, take the fifth one down and slightly wet a liner brush and you can use that. It is on the bottom row right there. Um, I love these things. I am totally in love with them and so fun to play with them. A small lip liner brush. I had an Estee Lauder brush up here. I do not know where it went. And I just load my brush up. These these glide on so easily. You could even do a purple. A purple would look really pretty with this too. To me, these gels are they're they're easier than like a liquid liner. Like coloring. Keep looking back in the mirror, making sure that those wings are the same length. Okay. And then I don't even know why I bothered putting the pink under there, because at first I really didn't even know what I was gonna do. But now, I'm going to put this down here. Okay, and then I tight line and water lined with the gel. You should have eyes and eyebrows done. I have my foundation on that side finally. And now I'm going to be taking that wonky stupid brush from Crown Brush. I paid for it so I'm going to use them. And I'm going to be using Clinique Matte Bronze. And I'm going to just contour and use it on as my blush. If your lips if your lips have any redness in them, I suggest taking a little bit of concealer and like dabbing it around your lips. Kind of conceal the redness or any imperfections. And I'm using a lip liner that is really meant for Halloween, but you know what? I don't give a care. <laughs> I'm going to use it. Um, there's a MAC one. I can't think of the name of it. Yeah, that really does y'all some good, right? So I'm just going to line I'm bowing mine out. Now for the guest of honor, I present to you Morange. It is the new red for spring. Don't be afraid. It's 
So what if people so digging look. this? When I backed the Mac, I was totally gonna get this like sheer color. What do y'all think? Well, I hope y'all have enjoyed this as much as I have. Because y'all know I love my color. And also, I did my little top knot bun. I was trying to find a flower to stick in my hair, but can't find it. So, thank y'all so much for watching, and I hope y'all try this look. If you do, please post a video response. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all here next time. Deuces.